Howdy folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. This video is going to be about uh, towards end of nectar flow. Uh, we're about three quarters of the way through, I'd say. It's uh, May 15th in uh, Oklahoma, central Oklahoma. And uh, so we've got all of our strong hives supered. We're checking our queenless hives. We've done splits and I've got uh, two hives that are still queenless with some virgin queens in there, and I just need to follow up on those. So now, uh, the hives that we've reduced, we need to check back up on them and start doing some combining. So I'm up to 30 hives now, and that's way too many for me. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna give two away this weekend, and I'm gonna probably combine some hives here. So hive number one, I reduced it to a nuke uh, last week. I just checked it out and it's failing. The queen in there looks healthy. There's not a lot of bees. They're not taking care of the brood. It's dying, so I don't know what's going on there, but there's not a lot of bees in here and I think that may be the problem. Also, we've got hive number five over here that uh, I believe it, she was blue and then I marked her green, but uh, that hive is pretty weak too and i've not been in it yet so depending on what that looks like i may combine five and one and also my huge swarm i pulled a little split off of it uh, to make a queenless nuke to uh, try and uh, bank a virgin queen in there but they didn't accept her and that nuke's still sitting over there queenless with the frame of brood in there uh, I'm going to check on it, and I might combine that over here with one or five. So let's uh, take a look at all of them, make an assessment. This one I've already looked at. It's very weak. Uh, the queen is in there. So let's look at five real quick and see how it's doing since I've reduced it. Okay, hive number five here. There's not a whole lot of activity going on there, but there is a few bees coming and going. Hopefully they have uh, got their act together and are doing better with this single deep. We'll see. Pretty good population in this area. Not so much going on over here. So it uh, hasn't done much in the line of recovering. At least they're not in two deeps. Whew, that's about to gas me. <clears throat> so yeah, there's not a lot of bees in here. About from uh, here to here. So it could probably stand to be in a nuke itself. No matter where I put that smoker, it's coming after me. So there's nectar up here. This is a uh, capped honey. This is probably left over from the top when I combined it. There is nothing on this frame. There's some pollen there, a few bees. So she's laying on this frame. There's an uncapped larva right here in the center. Not doing anything with that side. Some sporadic larva laid around here and a few capped. Same thing here. Not seeing the queen yet though. There's larva on here. Boy, they're awful jumpy. That smoke's kind of drifting over here. I think that may be why. There she's the queen. I marked her green. I 
So she is laying. They just don't, aren't taken off. There's nectar and pollen. So, I'm gonna put high five on the watch list. I'm not ready to go combining it yet. I don't think that queen is going to miraculously start laying a lot. Maybe it's because there's not enough bees in here to support it, I don't know. So I think what I'm going to do I'm going to pull that nuke over, over here, the queenless nuke that I uh, pulled off the huge swarm. So that's hive number 30. And I want to bring it over here and just combine it with number one. Uh, I'll have to uh, put that into a deep, so. Or I could just put it all in the nuke, but I'd have to get rid of some frames. Let me go take a look at it and we'll decide. It may be empty over there for all we know. Let's go look. Okay, there's the huge hive. And the little nuke split I pulled off of it, that is queenless. I put a frame of brood in there uh, that came out of the huge swarm hive. But I don't believe there were any eggs for them to uh, make a queen with. So let's just see what it looks like in here. So any field bees that were in here that flew out would have went back into this hive here. So the bees that are in here are going to be uh, bees that stay, your nurse bees. That's one thing I hate about these cardboard nukes, they smash bees on the top. And they also touch the sides of the frames on each end. I don't like that either. So there's quite a few bees in here still. They look kind of lethargic. Maybe there's no honey in here. So here's the uh, brood frame. No queen cells being pulled down. There's nectar in here, so they got food. Here's brood here. This is the brood frame. This actually came from Hayden's hive to get that swarm to stay. Here's just some old comb. And pollen. So there's everything here a uh, hive would need to get started. So these are just extra bees and a, of and a frame of brood. So this is queenless and they're ready to accept a queen. So I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to combine it with hive number one over there. So this is a good example of where you can use resources from like a swarm with bees to boost another hive. So I could put them back in that swarm but it doesn't need them. It's huge. So any field bees that do happen to come back, if there are any, they'll go over here. There's one went in. If I wanted to be sure and get all the field bees, I could do this like right at dusk. So, but uh, there's not that many. Let's move it over there.
Okay. So, I don't think there's enough bees between both of these boxes for a 10 frame deep. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave that one brood frame and selectively pull those and get the brood frame that's in here and in there and I'm gonna shake all the bees into here eventually. This is so sparsely populated. So I'm gonna get rid of this frame for now. I'm just gonna set it here before I go doing any shaking. Give me some space to work with here. So absolutely nothing on here except a few bees hanging out. So let's get it off or out. So this one's got a little bit of brood on it. So let's leave it for now anyway. Where did our queen go? Lots of pollen on here. I'd like to keep it. Oh, I didn't see the queen. Oh, here she is. She was hiding down in here. So, yeah, that's the brood frame I was going to keep. There's a little bit of on that one. This is the one with all the pollen. So I'm going to shake this off for now. May wind up keeping it. So we've got four frames in here. That one's definitely going. So I can take three frames out of here and put into this one. So let's see what we have. So not much on that. So that'll be the one we don't put in. This one is a uh, nectar and pollen. So I'll put that brood frame right next to it. Here's the brood frame. And we're putting it right up against this other brood frame. And this is a brood frame. Not much brood, but it is. And this is just an empty. So... Instead of this empty one, I want to put one that's got some comb on it. So I'll shake these in there. And put this comb in there. And we got our five frames. And there's a few bees in here. Uh -oh. 
So that uh, probably tripled the strength of this nuke. At least tripled it. Okay, so we'll make our notes that we combine this with the queenless nuke number 30 and see how it goes from there. We'll check on it in a week and see if that queen's laying has improved and if the eggs that she's laying are turning into larva and they're not drying up and dying, uh, which I saw some of that in here. So I think it's maybe due to the lack of population. So now they have nectar, pollen, everything they need in here. Uh, they needed some more field bees though, but anyway, We'll check on it in a week and uh, see how it's going. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.